Hi guys, I'm Antonius again and in this video we will continue with the, the SQL database. First we have to open the database that we make the last lesson. Double click to the SQL data browser. Click to open. Find the SQL database, database that we make to the last one. Double click it. And here it is. Now we have to go to browse database and uh, in uh, this record, this new record, we have to add uh, the first job. I have already created some jokes here. So this is the title for the first joke. We'll copy the title, go to SQL, double click the title and paste it. Apply changes. We will put the joke here. Copy the joke. Paste it here. Apply changes. And the point is into the tags. We want the categories of for jokes. And we can put two or more, one, two or more categories in this field. The joke is uh, for technology and blondes. Apply changes. And this is the way we can add our jokes. So this is the way I put in the, uh, in the second uh, joke here. Title this one. Joke is this one, and the tax which, which is the, the most important for all. We have two tags here, school and blondes. We have to, to keep the tags the same, uh, exactly the same word, like blondes here and blondes there. So when we try to find one category from uh, our uh, database we can search in here in this field to find it and uh, the last thing that we have to do to show that uh, can use this uh, database in our application in Android we have to uh, add a new table called the uh, Android metadata and to do this, if we don't want to, to make it, we can create a table uh, with the following SQL statement to do it. So we can go to actual execute SQL here, and here we can write create table execute query can see it here nowhere and now that we have uh, our new table created we have to insert a single row within with the text uh, in US in the Droid metadata table so we can do it from here in so you have to write as it is now execute query Okay, and here is no error. Now we can browse data. Android metadata. I uh, will put it here three times. Delete record. Delete record. We need only the first one. Save the file. And I think that we are ready now. Now we have to, to copy this file and it, the file has to be in our databases folder this is the file you can copy the file and then we have to paste it into assets folder click paste I have already done it so I have to override the, uh, the file 
just roll and uh, I think we are ready in the next lesson we will I will show you how to start using this um, this database in our program in our application thank you for watching this video I think I thought this uh, in interesting and I hope to see you again have a nice day